What's up YouTube monsters? It's K and T Do Halloween here. I uh, wanted to get a quick video up today and I thought a fun one would be one on how we actually paint our Halloween props that we buy from you know the store, Spirit Halloween, Halloween Express. We generally will repaint all of our props to some degree just to make them look not so straight out of the box and to kind of tie them into our overall theme of the display each year. So this year we're actually doing a zombie outbreak or zombie apocalypse theme. We have some of these really cool patches and branding that we're putting on a lot of our costuming for my husband and I and I want to tie some of our characters in as well. So we are going to transform our high voltage zombie into, let's say, I don't know, somebody who worked at our lab and was infected and was trying to get out and got shot by the fence. We're also going to go back in and, and gore up his face a little bit. Uh, I know you can't see through here because it's really shiny through the fence, so we'll take the fence down. But we're just gonna overall uh, grunge it up a little bit. I know you can kind of see our, our zombie box here that has some of the rust and things on it. Also gonna rust up the outside of this fence a little bit, dirty up his clothes a little bit, and I don't know, just make him look a little more spooky in my opinion. And I think other than that, um, Probably not too much else we're going to do to him. His animation is great. Uh, I'm not going to change any wording on his sign. I'm not going to change his clothes. I'm not going to give him hair or anything like that. But I do want to make him look a little more crispy, a little more burned, and just kind of dirty up this really shiny <laughs> uh, danger high voltage sign that you can see here. We have a lot of lighting in our display, and the lighting will reflect off of this and, and kind of make it stand out and make it look like the, I guess, paper cardboard that it is. <laughs> So if you guys like this uh, time-lapse painting video, let us know. It's a little bit of a task to kind of set the lighting up and set the garage up in a way so I can film it. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, let us know below what other props you want to see that we're painting, and we'll be sure to do our best to film them and post them for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, from now on, I'm going to stop talking. You guys are going to see the time lapse of me painting uh, our high voltage zombie, and we hope you guys enjoy. And at the end of the video, make sure you stick around because we'll be sure to show you guys what it finally looks like. And thank you so much. Bye, guys. It's getting hot in the garage today in Texas. Um, so I kind of wanted to just show you where I was at uh, before I went through and kind of started distressing the costume really quick. Of course guys, I have to let you guys know if you paint your Spirit Halloween props, you're gonna avoid any warranty that they have. Uh, they may not help you fix the prop, they're definitely not gonna take it back. We repair pretty much all of our spirit props ourselves, so it's not a huge issue, but keep that in mind if you guys are gonna attempt this and try and paint your own Halloween uh, props from these stores, that it, it likely does void the warranty. Um, and you can see I have a little bit of this iridescent kind of going on with the eyes right now. It's just this top coat that's shiny that's drying. But I went back in and, and really just reinforced uh, you know, the burnt zombie, and you can see on his hands as well, you know, we got some of the, the blood. We didn't mind much of the back of his hands, but <clears throat> now I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna start to distress the costume, and I'm also gonna go through and we're gonna, you know, distress the fence. So, hope you guys enjoy the rest. So I just distressed the clothes, I just added some of the perma blood to kind of continue down with the that he had around his mouth. He had just eaten something and then you know gotten sapped. And I wanted to stop and kind of take a second uh, just to show you where he's at. I think he's coming along. So cool, super stoked. I love the shininess of the perma blood. 
Um, you know, we're firm believers that Halloween should be scary. So we love the fact that this is a spirit prop. It's not too creepy, um, but you know, we kind of bring that spooky element into it and definitely gory. Um, we're not afraid of that. I was raised in a small town in upstate New York where, you know, we went all out and really tried to scare you. So we think this fits perfect. What I'm actually gonna do after is um, I'm gonna attach one of our umbrella patches right here and then I'll just stress it down uh, once we're finished. So the reason I wanted to stop to show you is I have a little trick that I like to do to all of our store-bought props um, by trade and my hairstylist and makeup artist. Um, so this is a fun little tip that I like to use um, where I just like to add a little bit of hair. I, I know I said at the beginning of the video I wasn't going to do that, but I changed my mind after kind of seeing it and the fact that his head shakes and he has some, you know, lighting, you know, coming from up underneath. It would really enhance the movement just to have some kind of fun hair. So what I actually have um, is just some, you know, doesn't really matter what color. Uh, I just happen to have blonde in one of my kits. Um, of just this kind of you know synthetic uh, you know hair fiber. You can really find anything. You can probably use string and pull it apart. Um, stuffing. I guess if you had an old Halloween wig, you could probably cut something off the back of it. But all you know, the reason I mainly use this is because it has a, a fun texture that's visible. It's really lightweight and cheap. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, to be completely honest, it's cheap. So, you know, what I'm gonna do, I am going to just take off a, a decent section. I, I always like to have more hair than I think I'm going to need to, you can see how long that is. I always like to have more hair than I think I'm going to need, especially when I'm doing something like this, and if the hair is cheap, uh, I, I can always cut it off, but I can't, as I tell my clients. I can always cut more off, but I can't put more back on. In this case, I can't put more back on, um, but you know, it, I just like to leave it longer because it just works better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of start with uh, a handful, and, and what I have here is a, is a little bit of perma blood. You can use glue, spray adhesive, uh, yeah, I would say Elmer's glue would probably work the best. That's what perma blood is. I believe it has a glue base or something like that to it. Um, and since he's, you know, crazy bloody zombie, I thought that would be perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to um, dunk this synthetic fiber and kind of swoosh it around in there just so I know it's, you know, got some of this, the stuff on it. You can kind of see that. And I am going to strip it on the head. And then with my fingers, I'm just going to press down Know, kind of the fibers on top and you'll end up with something like this. Yay, he has hair. So I'm going to continue to do that and just continue to grab basically you know, small little pieces uh, like this. Try to, if you're like me and you know, like one glove, I'm trying to keep your other hand um, semi-clean. But again, you can dump the, the fibers in.
I think that came out kind of neat. You know, I'll probably cut it uh, a little bit shorter. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely probably cut it a little bit shorter, you know, through the sides and stuff. scissors um, and actually you can use your fingers if you want um, but I'm going to take some scissors and I'm actually just going to cut some of the hair um, so it's not all in his face I like the stuff on the side we're just going to you know monster it up a bit and uh, then I'm actually going to paint the hair a little bit just so it looks like it got fried and you guys can check that out So before I bring the fence piece over and start painting that, which will be super quick, I just wanted to show you guys up close because the fence will be blocking it, uh, our finished distressed high voltage zombie that we just custom painted and we ended up doing some fun hair work on it. I'm sorry my lighting is not super great in the garage, but that's what we ended up with. And remember, we made sure that we painted the undersides of his hands because those are up against the fence. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the fence back on. I'm going to do a little rusting technique. Uh, you can check that out right there. That's on the zombie box. But I'm going to do that around some of the edges and then just dull down the danger high voltage sign with probably some black paint uh, so it's not so shiny. And then we will be good to go. Uh, Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to watch till the end and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you guys want to see an actual how-to video as opposed to the time lapse. Um, and let me know if there's any other of these videos you'd like us to make. So thanks so much. Make sure you watch till the end. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you guys think. up close uh, view of the paint job. So thank you so much for watching and check it out.